Yo. What up? All right. Um. So, uh, we got another one from Joke World. Hmm. Okay. Joke World. Yeah. What we got? This is a try not to laugh. We got to try not to laugh from Shane Gillis and Matt McCusker. Okay. Okay. Two funny dudes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we saw their um, their last little um, uh, part one, I guess, right? Yeah, well, they're, okay. they're, funniest, they're funniest moments. They got a new right. podcast, or they got a podcast. Oh, they do together. Okay. Or like a cool. secret podcast, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> new podcast. But all right, man, well, let's go. I'm ready. All right. Yeah. Deal with Guy got rocks. Yeah, that's smacked terrible. his head against the wall, and then he popped up. You know, again, people you have rush, to pop up. People rush the dude, and you know, everyone. Dorian fucking came, jumped in on it. Did anyone get a sock on? Did anyone punch that's that guy? That's what I said. I, I figured some people would be. Well, people were holding. We gotta give him a little butt got belly, it, a little bit. I'd like to yeah. kill you. Yeah, you're a little fucking. I mean, I <laughs> def, I know 100. percent I would if. I had the op- that opportunity. I would punch that guy just because. <laughs> yeah, if just, because. just because. Just <laughs> because. I, I would just be like, I don't ever get to punch someone as hard as I can yeah. in the ribs. I need to do this right. I would absolutely punch him at least three times as hard as I yeah. could. Just like I, I have no emotional investment in the person or whatever. But if I was in that situation, it would have been. <laughs> I went through a phase where I was doing that in college to anybody that was taking a. Uh, what the fuck was it called? A keg stand? Mm-hmm. Anybody Aww. that was getting keg stand, I would get under and <laughs> punch him in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. One dude, I remember I was at Pitt. I was at my friend's frat. Oh. And they were doing a keg stand and the dude doing it. And I just socked him in the dick like three oh. times. Oh. <laughs> his legs, but people were holding him. He was trying to like Damn. throw up. <laughs> so, dude, what the fuck? Someone fucking is hitting me. I'd <laughs> laugh. Throw up. <laughs> uh, it's so dude. funny. Yeah, next time you see someone doing a keg stand, definitely punch with the balls. Oh, no. Fuck. Punch in the belly. <laughs> no. Oh, punch in the belly and the balls not, if, on a keg stand. Because well, they try to curl up, but people oh. are like holding their legs as hard as they can. They're getting restrained. It's also, too, it's funny because you're just late for the party. Oh, you're yeah. You're like, oh, it's my time. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, and you're like, the, oh, 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 my nuts. <laughs> Someone's punching me in the dick. <laughs> Let go of my legs. Yo, what's the record? 35 seconds? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> we should go to a, we should go to a uh, a college party, please. And just what? punch somebody in the dick. Any college it. listeners, <laughs> let us come to your party. Let us come to your party and I punch promise not dick. to be a sexual predator. <laughs> I don't think you can. I like your <laughs> wings, uh, hot wings. Yeah, hey, fried wings. chicken. Beer yeah. goes nice. I'll tell you what's a great chug it. pairing of alcohol and food: oysters and martinis. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn, dude. I did that on a date recently, and it was fucking righteous. Oh, it's his name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here, baby. I'm just laying in the cut. You guys go ahead. Have your food chat. If you gave a girl a karate chop on the butthole, not as hard as you could, obviously, because you split her in half. Yes. But if you did like a, if you did like a quick fucking to the butthole, they probably do something i mean yeah if you can split them <laughs> they'd probably can split brick i could split a brick <laughs> yeah. i have no doubt I girl's a, butthole would be nothing girl's butthole would just yeah dude give me three you'd stack ruffles. three of them on top of each other <laughs> <laughs> and they'd all just come and do, oh it's <laughs> probably all girls really want is to be cut in half from the butthole <laughs> um ma'am I hit Ma'am? my i hit my girl with a funny one this morning what'd you get her? you would have liked it what'd she came get? in the room and was she was looking for her laptop and it was in the bed and i was like what do you want? And she goes, my laptop. I go, when do you want it? She goes, now. <laughs> and I go, what do you want? She goes, my laptop. I go, when do you want it? She goes, now. <laughs> it's a fun little trick. You can get, a very good you trick. see somebody looking for something, hit them with, what do you want? When do you want it? And then they go, now. And then you start a chant. You go, what do you want? <laughs> you drink wine when you're out on dates sometimes? Yeah. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting roasted, dude. <laughs> Joe the Roasted. I brought that joke up. You didn't bring it up. I brought it up. Rewind I brought the that tape. Joke up. Rewind he, the he tape. Turn, he turned the fucking gun around yeah, on you, dude. He turned it he on you. fucking grabbed the gun. And- it's funny, man. I'm laughing still. Even though- <laughs> Thursday in San Francisco. I was at Cobbs. Mm-hmm. Joe Avery. I think his last name's Avery. I hope I'm not fucking that up. He's a great comedian. He, he had the tendies. Yeah. In the green room. He had the chicken tendies on Thursday. He had the test bag. And he said, geez, these things are fucking my stomach up and threw them out. That's he, when I knew. He didn't, even, wait, he didn't even finish the tendies? He didn't even finish the tendies. He was like, these are, these, something's tenders. wrong. <laughs> I'm not putting this on the club. <laughs> <laughs> 
But the next night, I was like, that might have been a bad batch. Either way, yeah. I'm getting tendies. For sure. <laughs> so I mean, how, how much have you been looking forward to that? How long have you been looking as forward to that? As soon as he told me they made him sick, I was like, that's it must, good. It must be good. That's a good bet. Because <laughs> Joe's relative, he looks like a normal, healthy guy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, he probably can't handle it. For he sure. He can't handle the heat of the true tendies. He didn't have the tolerance. He didn't <laughs> build up the natural he tolerance. He hasn't been eating tendies. He can't chicken tenders. Yeah. So I ordered them. He OD'd on the tendies. I ordered them. <laughs> and I'm going to blame the tendies, but <laughs> just because I'm trying to pretend it's not alcohol. <laughs> on Friday, I woke or Friday, I got them. But Saturday morning, I woke up, dude. My stomach was fucked up. <laughs> it hurt so bad. Oh, it is and funny was, yeah. to think about that. And now that I think about it, everyone I know who drinks a ton is always like, oh, I had a bad hot dog at the Snoco. It's like, yeah. no, you you're, no, well. you're blacked out at the Snoco. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not the, There's always one. One food missile. Yeah, it's like, it's like oh man, it must have been the chicken fingers. It's like, dude, that's you eat chicken fingers every week. <laughs> must have been that batch of chicken fingers I barely remember eating at four <laughs> yeah, o'clock yeah. in the morning. <laughs> it's not sitting well with yeah, me right now. It's definitely not the alcohol consumption. <laughs> so far today, my stomach's good. Yeah. Which is, that's nice. You're in the clear. I'm in the clear right now, but. What's God, what's on the menu for today? Knows. What's on the menu? Uh, I'm trying, I don't know. Last night was just yogurt. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Suck, dude. I'm fucked. Just imagine you eating an Activia. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> like eating an Activia and then putting it down and being like. <laughs> <laughs> you also got to so You might have to switch to CNN, dude. Fox News are getting too fired, bro. I'm not being a jerk. I'm saying you got to just take it easy for a couple days. Is it just watch Wolf Blitzer? You say because I have tummy problems. I'm a CNN guy now. <laughs> You tell me I got no, monkey pox. No <laughs> My dad and his boys are skis. Are they? Yeah, absolute time, skis. Dude. They go to the men's club. They go to the, the Elks. Get fucking bombed. Yep. Yo, I went to bingo. I went to bingo at the Elks this weekend. It? Sat down, won on my first card. What? Yo, that what? bingo. Did you? Yeah, dude, That's the impossible. geezers are none too pleased. I was flashy. Ye what? Yeah, people, dude. I've never. I go there sometimes. Bingo at the Elks rules. Yeah. If you win, everyone hates you. Oh, I bet. As soon as you win, people are like, ah. Oh, uh. <laughs> so funny. But how much did you win? I won a hundred bucks. Woo! Gave it to the squatter. I was like, put it on. Pay for the pilsners for the table, bro. That's what's so respectable. That, last, that can buy that. That uh, that's bet you spiked the ball in the end zone. Oh yeah, and that's like got the money. Made sure everybody saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you probably hated that even more, dude. Phil, Phil hates to see me win. Really? And it, well, I, I understand. I'm a dickhead. I'm like, look, I, you know, it skips a generation. I have the championship gene. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, Phil's, oh, okay. <laughs> Well, it happens. I don't know why. It skips a generation. <laughs> so he saw you stun on the hundred. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So was it a hundred every time someone won? Yeah, and then then the final. That's oh, ten. Buy in. Uh, ten or twenty, and you get a stack of ten cards, Damn, and then dude. there's ten games, and then there's the blackout. Mm -hmm. You know what blackout is? Uh -uh. It's where you got to get every single one, and that's the big money. That was five hundred. What? And it was wow. great because I was like, I was one away. Oh. And I was like, dude, please let me get this. And then the lady behind me was like, bingo. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> and then I turned around. It was like a lady with her two children. And she like kissed her kid. It was like, Ugh. and I was like, oh, <laughs> glad you won. I would have felt like a dick. I would have wanted to be like, oh, it's a bingo. <laughs> Some ladies oh. like relying on it for groceries. Oh. You know what? I never played Mario 64. <laughs> it's, the, it's like the best one. Yeah, I hear. But that's one of the only ones I never played. I have the new one or the newest one. What you got? You the newest the well, Mario Kart? Mario Kart 8. It's from like, it's it's a few years old at this point. Yeah. And then I have the Game Boy Advance Mario Kart, which is really good. You got good. a GBA? I have several GBAs. What? I have this three. Is crazy. GBA. <laughs> I have what, three Where GBA. do you play them? I have What's 40 GBA? plus systems in my house. You do look what? like an adult Pokemon trainer. <laughs> 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 really? You look like a little Pokemon, dude. <laughs> A Snorlax, if so you, you will. You game hard. Now, a little fat Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Took almost everything. Give me to not open the fucking trash bag. And uh, dude, uh, what was their excuse? I don't know. I've seen plenty of black men eat half a uh, meatball sandwich and take that thing back home. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, save it for later. Respect. I said that respectfully. I've seen that yeah. happen many times, dude. You work construction. Yeah, black guys typically have half a hoagie on them. <laughs> <laughs> what? At any given moment. <laughs> I've seen so many dudes when I when I was in the labor union. I'd work for my dad. They would like eat half a meatball sandwich and just chuck it in their pocket. And they're like, oh, my wife's going to love this sandwich, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Out. They'd have like a fucking hot meatball and a fucking <laughs> half a hoagie all day long. Yeah. 
just in the back, just fucking wrapped up, like, like chiseling concrete. I'm like, damn, my wife's gonna love this. Dude. <laughs> the hell? That's happened enough for me to. I can say that with respect. Uh, yeah. Like that's you know. And once you pick up on that, you'll notice it. Like yeah. you'll see if you pick up because a lot of people you don't realize it, but if you're just walking down the street, you'll see a black guy drop a sandwich almost every day. <laughs> they come out, and like, oh, shit! You have to pick up a pick up a wrapped up subway sub. They stay with uh, one half hockey on them at all yeah. times. Yeah, where do they store it? Yeah, pockets. in a plastic they have a ton bag. of pockets. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Plastic they guys, that's why they always wear baggy clothes <laughs> <laughs> to accommodate their hoagies. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, they stay strapped with that witch, dude. They yes, got that witch all the time, all the time <laughs> dude. It's dangerous. So that would have been respectful. You guys could have fucking pocketed your sandwich. And that's why they're always so ornery. <laughs> ornery. <laughs> because they, they know that they have fragile stuff on their persons. <laughs> so True. if you, like, bump into them accidentally, yep. like, or you, you, the or you <laughs> must <laughs> cost me the fucking sandwich. Yeah, if you step on their shoes, like, yo, you almost crushed my sub, bro. That's why they keep <laughs> randomly knocking out people in New York. <laughs> You get too close to the sandwich. I watched an Asian lady get <laughs> bopped on the face today. Oh, dude, yeah, it's it's right. You see one of them get hit, they get pick up their bros. Like, well, you didn't throw. It's just the marinara yeah. sauce <laughs> <laughs> coming through uh, the jabot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, dude, you got to cut deli gotta, paper rip. Yeah, dude. If they get yeah. hit by a car, you got to cut their jeans <laughs> off and get yeah. to the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Just an Italian. I got an Italian sub. You know how many Italian subs save their lives, dude? Think of a guy in an ER and some nurse, like he's unconscious. She's like cutting it. She's cutting it into bread. That's why the cops are always pulling him over. Just trying to. Oh, what? Trying to commandeer. I knew I was going to get off the phone. Yeah, yeah, they want a free sub. They're going to call us. Let me pat you down. They're fucking. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. What's this? That's all cops eat are commandeered hoggies. Yeah, they love it, dude. Yeah. I got blood test done. And, well, it was funny because he the the nurse came in and was asking me questions. And then went and got a doctor. And the doctor came in immediately and was like, how much are you drinking? <laughs> he knew exactly what it was. <laughs> he knew exactly. I, I didn't even include the attendees in the fucking report. I was like, I, he was like, how many days? I was like, uh, uh, four, four days a week. Yeah. He was like, what do you have, like three they always say that bullshit. Yeah. Like, what do you have, like three drinks? It's like, no, dude. Yeah, dude. No one has three fucking drinks four days a week. <laughs> <laughs> if you're drinking four days a week, you're not drinking three drinks. Yeah, they tell you on every commercial, please enjoy responsibly. Unless you're like a mom. Dude, Coors Light or uh, Bud Light would be furious to know that you're not enjoying the products responsibly like they're asking. No, but- yeah, I know. Actually, yeah. People are like, how come he's not sponsored? It's like, because I drink 20 beers every time I'm on camera. <laughs> They can't. They can't be like nice. <laughs> they literally can't be like this is good. I saw a homeless lady reading the other day. It made me laugh. Uh, really? She was. She was reading. She was sitting there like covered, like blankets set up everywhere. She what was, was she reading. reading. Forty eight uh, laws of power. Yeah, she was reading the art of not giving a fuck. <laughs> really? <Something. laughs> no, I didn't get to see what she was reading, but it was. It made me laugh. I was like, pretty funny. Why don't you get to work? Tucked up with a book. Stop reading. Yeah. So it's funny to finish a long homeless day and be like. I'm going to settle in with a nice book. <laughs> I was thinking because we were, me and uh, the fellas were working on that King show. We're trying to, we're, we're working on, we're right, whatever. Beautiful. But I was, I was talking to John yesterday. It'd be funny if anytime we introduce a character, you know how like in any series you add characters and they leave, they come and go. Yeah. Every character that leaves the show needs to kill themselves. <laughs> There's never another way that somebody leaves the show. <laughs> Every character eventually kills themselves. It'd be funny. Just building up the circumstances to why they have to do it would be so fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, because yeah, if, the, if the viewer knew that they were going to eventually, you just slowly see like them drop a cup and be like... <laughs> <laughs> like just the whole time, small things bothering them immensely. Especially the medieval suicide methods would be so Nothing fucking Nothing but self-guillotines. Oh, dude. Even though, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Entering the iron. What's Damn like the thing they put on? Like a yeah, Iron Maiden. Where you just stand there for fucking one month. <laughs> I'm killing myself. <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, the one with nails that you close? Oh, you ever see Jesus that one? Christ. Dude, yeah. they did some wild stuff. They were bad boys. The boys were up to no good. They were bad boys. I wonder how tolerant they were of other people, though, in terms of like people's beliefs and oh, I'm sure they were very lifestyles. <laughs> no, they put them in a fucking nail bed and closed it. <laughs> the doctor comes in. He's like, how many are you drinking? I was like, about, I don't know, like 10. 10. And he's like, so you're having 40 drinks a week. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, if you're going to be a dick about it. Well, they come but in. Then, you get big. Well, sometimes they come in bigger cans, so more like true. 35, 30. 
True. It's like you, <laughs> Sometimes it's a pitcher. I use <laughs> I use fill math. I'm like, I had two drinks. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pitcher. <laughs> two pitchers. Uh, he was nice though. He he was courteous. He was like, I I don't mean this. He was like trying to like he was like trigger warning. Yeah, yeah. It's I don't like, want to shame you. You are drinking excessively. And I was like, He's like, I'm not judging you for that, but the yeah, just by the sheer liquid volume, I'd say <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so then, but it was funny too. I was hitting him with the fucking, but yeah, it's like it's just light beers. It's not. <laughs> still like, no, that's still. I was like, it's not like I'm chugging liquor, you know. And he was like. No, I have no idea what you're talking like. Dude, you could, if you went to, honestly. Especially because if we went to a college party, the only way we'd get invited <laughs> was if one dude liked our podcast. Yeah. They'd bring us in and be like, yo, these are uh, my favorite podcasters. And everyone would be like, what the fuck are these losers? And then we'd punch them in the dick. And then punch a kid in the dick. And everyone would be like, oh, <laughs> you're the best. Get that kid gonna, out of here. I'm going to show up for the college party dressed like it's uh, can't hardly wait. I'll have like ski goggles on my side of my head. Or my we're leg. both going to get pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's my the ultimate fear of a college student is getting pants. <laughs> yeah, dude, I uh we should do that. <laughs> Go to a college party. Oh man. Sitting there living their golden days. Man. Yeah, they try to get invited to a college party. <laughs> Not the way he looks like a pedophile with, the, with that mustache. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he, I think yeah, he's losing mustache first before he to the college party for sure. No, especially like, start trying to punch people in the dick. Yeah, I just. Nah. <laughs> yeah, if you go you go to a college party, you start punching people in the dick, and I don't know. He might be able to pass as a college student. <laughs> he can pass as a you know, he passes as a uh, special person. Look. Special person, you know. <laughs> he was, you know, he's a you know he can he can pass for a lot of people. You've seen him uh, act in uh, in his sketches. <laughs> he's been a car salesman. He's been a dad. He's been a lot of things. Maybe he can pass as a a student <laughs> at a college party. It's possible. Definitely, definitely. Man. Yeah, he does drink too much. That's a lot. This nigga said he drinks forty drinks a week or something. Right. That's a lot. He wouldn't be the, 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 the spokesperson for the... Because <laughs> he drinks every time 20 beers. On camera, yeah. It's, right. hard to be a, it's hard to be a spokesperson you drinking that much on camera. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> That's like Paul... Did you see Paul Pierce and uh, Kevin Garnett the other day? They was like right, uh, doing right, the finals right. and Paul Pierce, Pierce was drunk. Right. right. <laughs> nigga... And KG was yeah, like, nigga, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, we, <laughs> we on Showtime. This show we live right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we live. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they said, what do you say? Black people always have a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've never now, heard that before. We do like our sandwiches, but I don't always have sandwiches on them. You know what I mean? I don't know what right. the heck we be seeing these things about black people. <laughs> I think we saw a Family Guy, like a black person took his meal in the bathroom or something. Did it? I don't know. Like, <laughs> and I was like, why did that black person take the? <laughs> There's a lot of things out there. Yeah, stereotypes. I don't know about that one though. Barely, like, black no, sandwiches. I don't like. I don't like Subway. Black people don't like Subway <laughs> or Quiznos. Do black people like sandwiches? We can make a better sandwich. Most black people will make a sandwich. But is that like make one better than they could go buy one most time? You know, there's chicken, and then is there sandwiches up there? I don't think sandwiches are like a nah. a, a delicacy for black people. <laughs> easy to make. Very easy, very easy. You can have an a, a air sandwich, butter sandwich. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you.